Thanks for watching Days Running Rampage. So, I was out at the uh, place I run today called Mount Trashmore, and it's a real nice place. You know, get to jog around a little lake on the big mountain of, of what was once trash, and I guess still is trash under grass. We're not going to get into the semantics of the situation, but what we're going to talk about is I saw a couple people wearing some shoes. I was like, how are you running in those shoes? They're not running shoes. And, you know, that got me thinking. What if people don't know what a running shoe is? So as far as Dave's Running Rampage goes, a proper running shoe is a shoe that's made for one thing and one thing only. That is running. A little side note to that is that it's made specifically for the way you run. And that's why running shoes are so cool because although they're not totally custom, they are suited for your needs. So basically, there's three categories of shoes you should know about. First of all, there's the neutral. And the neutral doesn't have any sort of aspect that controls the motion of your foot. And it's made for people that have that neutral strike, which means that their ankles and feet do not either roll in or roll out. Rolling in is called overpronation. Rolling out is called supination. Some people may wear neutral shoes if they supinate. However, we're not going to get into that. The next category is stability. Stability is for people that mildly to moderately overpronate. And what it does is it controls your foot and ankle through the gait cycle by mitigating factors such as right here you have a medial post. This foam is a lot denser than this green foam, the gray foam. And what that does is it's, it stops the flattening of the foot which, which rolls the ankle. Also they have these crash pads which help with the transfer of through the gait cycle. In a lot of these shoes, you can find a lot of stability or a more light stability shoe, such as my Brooks Pure Cadence here. So the third type is called motion control. Motion control is the most stable shoe there is. It's for those people that overpronate extremely severely, extreme to the max, a million. It's, it's a really big brick of a shoe most of the time and has medial posts that are this big and they're really made for those people that need that super support and that super stability. So you may be asking, how do I find out what shoe type I should be wearing? There's only one way in my mind that you do this. Go to a local running store and have them fit you in the proper shoe. Here's an example of what will happen when you go to a local running store to get fit for shoes. First you're going to walk in the door a nice running representative, store owner, whatever, they're going to come up to you and they're going to say, hey, how can I help you? This is all sort of self-explanatory, huh? And then they're going to go, whoa, you need to get some shoes. And you're going to say, yeah, I need to get some shoes. And they're like, you need to get some shoes. Let's go get you some shoes. And they're going to bring you to a wall of sweet looking running shoes. And I drool every time I see that wall. And then you're going to walk down. You're going to walk away from them. They're going to see how you walk. And they're going to see if your foot flattens, if you pronate, if you supinate. And then they're going to say, hmm, why don't you take a run for me? You're going to run. They're going to watch how you run. They're going to see if you pronate, supinate, overpronate severely. And then they're going to say, hmm, I think you should be in a neutral or perhaps a stability or perhaps motion control. Okay, for this example, we're going to use stability. He goes, you're a stability runner. You go, what now? He's like, I'm going to bring out a whole bunch of shoes for you to try on. So you have a little fashion show. Not the looking one. The Okay, it's a test drive. More of a test drive. Right. I'm not going in the fashion show because running shoes are made for running, not for fashion. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a run. He's going to bring you out the Brooks. He's going to bring out the New Balance. He's going to bring out the Mizuno. He's going to bring out the Adidas. He's going to bring about the Saucony. He's going to bring out... Well, I don't know, weird Norwegian shoes that you may have never heard of that are super expensive that he might try to pressure you to buy. They'll never do that, but anyway, he might do that. You never know. So what you're going to do is you're going to try them all on. You're going to take them for a test run. You know, it could be a couple steps. It could be a little bit on a treadmill. Who knows? And what you're going to say is like, you know what? I like the cushioning of this one. Oh, you know, I like the flexibility of this one. But I don't like the way this one fits in the midfoot or in the, uh, the upper. I don't like the way how it's so narrow. Do you have anything in a little bit different? And then he's going to say, 
oh, okay, we'll try one on the other foot. And you try one on the other foot, and you try a whole bunch, and you go, and you go, and, you go, and you're sober. You're like, I don't know what to do. This one's cool. It looks cool, but I don't like it. And then you're gonna, then you're gonna freak out, and then you're gonna find the one shoe. The one shoe. It may not be just one. It may be two. It may be three. But you're gonna find that shoe, and you're just gonna be like, I want to take this one. Home. So what are you waiting for? Get down to your local running store and have them fit you for shoes. Because remember, if you're not wearing a shoe that's right for you, you could end up paying with pain and suffering and injury. And if you do get injured, watch my uh, six stages of runner's grief, and that might be able to help you. But you know what? You can preempt that with this running shoe. So I'll state it for the record. You do not fare Reebok Reezigs on a run. It's very bad for you. It's not a running shoe, and you just look like a silly stupid. Yes. And every time you do, an angel loses its fins, and a cat dies of insomnia. Do not do it. It is a bad call for every fun. Yes?